Hey, this is Tracy with Color Me This. I am working on episode 34, which I decided is going to be a my final thoughts on light fast testing. We're going to go over why I do light fast testing. Kind of some of the dates. I want to review what the two light fast control group companies say about their pencils as far as their light fastness rating. And then make a quick plan for next year so that I can stay committed to it when next year comes. So first, the reason why I am doing this when I know there's all this content on the internet about light fast testing. I have declared myself at my new community, which is an RV resort style living that does have homes because we live in a home here. It is very large and I have declared myself an ambassador for colored pencil coloring. So given that, I am hosting, uh, I call them group sessions, and I am doing some instructing uh, in a, this is what I know about colored pencils and how I color perspective, not that I am like a certified colorist, though I do have uh, many years in the art field. I won an art scholarship in high school, went to school in the first two years at community college. I took art and design classes and I did take Copic coloring uh, crafting classes. So I have my, my certificate and so I have years and years of coloring experience. And though I don't do a lot of coloring pages, I've started to do coloring pages now so that I have examples for people who come to my group meetings so that it helps them decide what they would like to color. But one of the big elephants in the room for this community is we, we all live in Florida where there is a whole lot of sun. So depending on what they want to color, Knowing what the light fastness ratings are is important because if they want to put something on their wall, they would not be very happy with me if they went ahead and used in this middle section here, we've got these prangs. And if they used the prangs three weeks later, their beautiful coloring is all faded. They would not be very happy with me. So I'm trying to do a good job as an ambassador of helping people decide what is the correct set of pencils for what you want to use them for. And for people like me, I want some of the economical ones for coloring things that are just for fun. And then I need to have the professional pencils for coloring things that would be for gifts or to put on my own wall. So that is my, my summary of my goal for today. And hopefully, along the lines of being the ambassador for my community for coloring with coloring pencils. I am also embarking on being an ambassador on the web as well in YouTube. So I hope given that, um, I do want to thank everybody who has been subscribing and please know that you can, you can either comment, if I feel that your comment, like suggesting, or if you don't like something that I'm doing, feel free to post it. If Even if I don't approve it, I will read it and definitely be taking any constructive criticism to heart because I want to make this channel as effective as I want to make my coloring group here in my community. Uh, so given that, one of the complaints, because my biggest critic and my biggest supporter is my husband, and he has commented that he doesn't like when he's watching my videos. There's many minutes at the beginning and many minutes at the end where we're staring at a piece of wood because I don't have anything up because I'm just talking like right now we're talking in generalities. So I am going to make a point of having something on the wood to look at. So let's get to the summary of all four of these sheets. On the left is my control group and I want to quickly read from, I grabbed my uh, small 24 set and I want to read to you about the light fast ratings. So I chose 
from my 120 set that I've had for many years. I had not received the 24 set yet, but I knew that that's what I was going to buy to have available for my group members to try them out and see them. So I grabbed the 24 colors. I didn't have enough room at the top, so I thought. Uh, so I skipped a couple of colors, like there's no white here. I did the Derwent 12 set, and then at the very bottom here you'll see two more that I did have room for at the end. So reading the back of the box tells me that all 24 of the Polychromos colors that I've used this year for the control group is three stars, which is the maximum light fastness, which is 100 years in museum conditions. So we're, I'm not doing museum condition testing. I am sticking these up in my front door that through the summer gets full sun, beating into my skinny uh, windows that I have multiple hours a day. And then from there, for the rest of the day, it's ambient light. So that is what the polychromos light fastness are on the 24. It is possible that there's two other ratings for polychromos. We have reasonable light fastness, which is one star, and high light fastness, which is two star. I might, since I have this sheet pretty much done and ready to go, I might add some more colors here on the right for next year samplings of the two star and one star light fastness rating so that we can see what the effects of the Florida sun are on them. The Derwent light fast, I have my, I have the 72 set and the 100 set of the Derwent and it actually has right here 100% light fast. So every single color, it even has all colors 100% light fast per ASTM D6901. So that means that I just grabbed the 12 set and every one of these are, and every one of their 100 pencils are 100% light fast, which is again 100 years in a museum setting. So I won't add any more Derwents. I will add some more Polychromos. There is room here. I've thought about maybe adding the um, Luminance, which is, so my top three favorite pencil sets of the professionals are Polychromos, Luminance, and Derwent. So that takes care of that sheet. Uh, the next two are my uh, group or student pencils, so to speak. I provide them for people coming to class. It is my goal as the ambassador for colored pencil drawing to help people decide if A, they want to pursue colored pencil drawing, either for doing realism, nature, abstract, or co just coloring pages. So that is my goal. And once they've decided, yes, this is something I enjoy, or no, I'm then not going to come back anymore, they will then decide if they just want to play around for a while and use the prangs, which are always going to be here for them. They can buy a set of the prangs if they want to color using the prangs at home. They're $5 on Amazon. And if they choose to explore colored pencil drawing further, I will have all sorts of uh, samples and ideas and uh, thoughts on the different sets and what would work best based on what they tell me they would like to do. So again, very much like the YouTube channel, I want to do the same thing that these YouTubers do, uh, me being a YouTuber, and then I also want to do that with people in real life. So I've already learned quite a bit with my first two uh, meetings uh, slash classes, whatever you want to call them. I have learned a ton. So the prangs. I have mixed results. I'm not feeling that this fixative test that I did, I did the prangs without any protection. And then I did a sheet of prangs. We're going to move the color off for now. So I don't distract you with the other images. So let us zoom in on these a little bit. So the one on the left has no protection and it was up all of the the 
control group was put up on 813. These two prangs were put up on 813. So I've done a couple of check-ins and the fading I think has slowed down. Like I think that they faded out to, to this level of faded within the first month. And then since then, the fading has been slower. So to show you, I use these strips of the same paper, the Strathmore Bristol Vellum 300, and I take the strip and I washi tape it, and you can see underneath what the color looks like. So that is our test of the difference in the covered color versus the exposed to the sun portion of the color. And I see, again, the three of the four yellows. I see some fading in the three oranges, but not very much. These, nothing like when you hit the pinks, uh, you see definite fading. This very pale peach is almost uh, non-existent at this point. The orangey red, or peachy red, has some fading, but this red number 11 maybe has a tad. It's it's kind of hard to tell. Um, your eye is tricked into seeing the line when you see the lines above and below it. But I still see a tiny bit of fading on 11. Then, of course, we have the pinky reds, and then 14 and 15 are almost totally faded out. 16, 17, and 18 have some fading, but then 19 looks great. 20 looks pretty good. I see a tiny bit of a line there. 21 has no line that I can tell. 22, not really a line, maybe a, just a smidge. And then I see a little bit of fading in 23, 24, and 25. Over here on the right side, the only fading I see for sure is 39, maybe of just a touch with 40 and nothing for 41, 42, and 43. There are 50 in the set. The colors I did not bother testing were the metallics, gold and silver, and the neons, and the white. So that's why we stopped at 43. So that is the unprotected praying. The fixative praying is, is a test that really isn't a perfect test that I did because I did one coat and the fading was pretty dramatic. And then I added a second coat. So I want to next year do a better job of a test case. So I'm going to, to continue to use the two coats and I'll add the description, two coats. And I'm going to go ahead and create of the ones that have fading. I'm going to do three coats on the left repeat them on the right and do four coats on the right and I will see how those work. My fixative I use is a natural fixative called Spectrafix Degas and it, I really want to use it. I don't want to use a, an aerosol spray. This is just a mister spray and I don't because I don't like the smells and I want to be able to spray in the house. So that's what the plan is for the prangs and then I went ahead on 9.22, I put up a full set of the Kalur 120s, the black barrels that are not the same names and numbers as the 180s and the, the larger sets. And I had this up, probably the sun was on the window maybe through the end of September to the first week of October. So there might only be a two weeks of full sun exposure on this set and then since then it's just had the daylight exposure and we still have a lot of fading of the same color ranges as the praying so for next year I'm going to choose I won't do every single set that I own but I will choose a, a sampling I think that this Kalur black barrel covers the all of the brute funers and all of the colors 
there are a bunch of other brands that also use the exact same like Sue Color and Markart. So I think that they're represented here quite well and their behavior is very much like the Prangs, but I might try like the Marie's, the Evazar, the Castle Arts, Amazon Basics, that's four sets. And what I might do is try to just do the colors that are known for fading based on the tests I've done so far. And I will be able to put them maybe up to six brands on one sheet and I will work on that over the winter. So that is my plan for next year's Light Fast testing. And again, I'm doing this for uh, my own purposes to be able to show in person anybody coming to my coloring group because uh, that's a little bit of a different experience. These people might not want to spend the time out on the YouTube channels researching colored pencils. They're coming to me for that. So that is why I decided to do all of this testing. And hopefully this isn't boring you all to death. Uh, because you guys have the... the you are, you're here because you like to watch YouTube. So this is just yet another person doing light fast testing. But I'm going to do it anyway, so I might as well post it. I think that's all I've got for this. So that is the end of episode 34. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, your own experiences with color uh, light fast testing, uh, leave them here on this video. I love to see what everyone is up to. And again, I so appreciate all of the subscribers. I'm having a great time with this channel. So be sure to share this with anybody who you think would appreciate it. And as always, thanks for watching.